I'm Gail Towie. I am the Chief Creative Officer at Martha Stewart Living on the Media and the Acting Editor-in-Chief at Martha Stewart Living Magazine. I'm Lucinda Scala Quinn. I'm the Executive Editorial Director for Food and Entertaining at Martha Stewart Living on the Media. My name is David Jones. I'm President of Vision On. I'm Christopher Baker. I'm a photographer in New York and um, I did this story for Martha Stewart with the red camera on Vermont Cheesemakers. Uh, conceptually, I've been wanting to do a story on artisanal cheese in America for about a year now. We um, kind of jumped right in and narrowed it down to five different stories that we wove together to tell the whole Vermont story of uh, artisanal cheese making. It started to present this idea of using motion for this Martha Stewart story because I felt like this magazine with its TV program, its website, and the magazine, you know, in the past they're constantly having to shoot the still and then they have to resend the TV crew. And um, I felt like with this red camera, you could do it all at once and it would be an amazing experience for everyone involved to be able to get a lot more out of a single shoot. At first I was interested in this, in the red camera because it was obvious to me that it could be used in so many other ways, that it was, could be used as a multi-channel device where you can capture print and motion media all at the same time. And it can be used to feed a variety of different media needs for our clients. I, I love film, I love the moving image, and when I first started working in food professionally, I worked in food television. I understood what it was like to be behind the camera, um, to tell stories with moving images, what the editing process was. Well, Lucinda's a real pro, and she knows what she wants, and um, she's quite savvy with TV in motion, so, you know, it's a really easy mix for us to work together, and, you know, and she's very good at getting the dialogue out of people. She was the one who asked all the questions for generating the dialogue in the interviews. So it was like, it was literally the most exciting week I've had in a long time creatively. I felt very facile. I felt like I was catching a lot of different moments and images. I felt like never had I really seen um, a film shoot set up so quickly with so little fuss. You can get great results with very, very few people. I mean, it's literally, you know, an assistant, a camera assistant, me and Lucinda. We did, you know, a story that could have easily involved 10 or 12 people. I think we'll definitely want to embrace this kind of technology as we move forward. Um, we found this experience to be very economical in many respects. I think the whole idea of a small crew you know, in a way, it's, you know, it's a lot of freedom there because you're not having to wait for all these people to do what they're supposed to be doing. You can just make decisions and go. I think now that I understand how it works and I understand the ability to um, tell a story in so many different platforms, it's given me all the more urgency to want to work with this camera again. I thought it was so awesome, our subjects, when they found out that they had a camera pointing on, at them that was a still still camera and a moving camera, the delight for them was quite extraordinary and I think brought another level of enthusiasm and energy to the storytelling. So um, I, 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 I'm not going to give my ideas away, but I do know what I want to shoot next. You know, everything is going more toward that direction. All the advertisers are trying to figure that out right now. It's like, how do we fill all this space? on the internet and, and do it in creative ways. I think that if, a, if technology can help you connect with your reader in a new way that's surprising or informative for them or seduces them in some way, then that technology is great for you and for your magazine. So